On to some news about your brain health. The CDC says more and more adults over 45 years old are reporting confusion and memory loss, which can be an early sign of Alzheimer's disease. The agency calls it a growing public health issue. And one in nine people suffer from it. But there are ways you can prevent it from happening, like exercise, eating right, and also keeping your mind active. So what do you think about going back to school? There's this great new program at Baldwin Wallace University, and it's keeping our local seniors mentally sharp. Tanish Gordell is live there this morning with the interesting details. Love this idea, Tanisha. It's great. Everyone needs it, right? We all need to just kind of stay young, just fit and, and healthy. That's the key word here. According to AARP, 55% of Americans ages 45 and up are doing the sh just that. They're staying and actively learning new things. They're staying engaged. They're staying just in the know and they're doing so with the help of Baldwin Wallace University and courses like the one they're offering here. Okay, now the next question it has here, we're on page two. Class is in session. It's taken off like a rocket. They don't have those little spiky things on it. And these seniors. Today we're just learning how to use a key to identify wildflowers. Are getting a crash course. Isn't this amazing, these flowers? I never knew, they look like hollyhocks, but they're not. Of a lifetime. I probably got another 10 or 15 years to live and I like to keep learning and keep up to date. It's exhilarating and inspirational to see our residents having so much fun. Did you have elderberries growing up? In partnership with Vitalia, a Cleveland-based senior lifestyle community, Baldwin Wallace's new community learning division is committing to lifelong learning. There's a, a great hunger for educational uh, courses and workshops and lectures, especially in our senior population. They, they want to be mentally active. A weed is just a plant growing in the wrong place. Seniors enrolling in fall courses are learning anything from plant identification and bird watching to the arts and so much more. And our residents are effectively younger as a result of programs like this. See how the leaves look joined together? But their teachers um, are not the only ones schooling them. They find great joy in being able to kind of have a partnership with uh, our students that are often teaching in many of these classes. Um, and so they they form this this friendship with them. And I've seen these these blossoming friendships over the course of time and they keep in touch with them. Life is filled with lessons. And well, for this bunch of life grads, the goal is to keep acing each day. I could sit and read, but seeing it and somebody telling you how to find it is just fantastic. I'm so glad BW is doing this. We're glad they're doing it too. All right, now the courses here at Baldwin Wallace are for adults ages 55 and up, but the university is reaching out to its youth too here in the community. Some of the youngest scholars were enrolled in the summer program here at the university. So great things going. Danita, I gotta say, you hold me accountable too, okay? Big sis, little sis, it is what it is. Everyone at News 5, you know, we all need a little little boost there. Yes, we all, you know, we all have to stay sharp. And I like to say the more seasoned <laughs> mind, okay? I have a more seasoned mind than you do, but you still have a good mind, Tanisha. You do. We'll keep you. <laughs> all right.